Welcome to Google Voice, smart voice calling on all your devices. So what's so great about Google Voice? One-click calling, voicemail transcripts, blocking unwanted callers, screening calls before you answer, linking your voice number to multiple devices, and that all-important protection from spam. Google Voice has it all. So what is it going to cost me to get up and running? Entry level, the starter package, will cover you for 1 to 10 users. Beyond that, you're looking at the standard package. Or you can go for all the bells and whistles with the premier package, including advanced reporting and international offices. Next, let's take a look at where Google Voice is available. Voice is now available in all of these countries, with a strong presence in Europe and in the United States. Now that we've covered the essentials, let's have a look at how the tool actually works. Starting first with the web browser, the user interface consists of four icons on the left-hand side for phone, voicemail, archive and spam. These can be extended by selecting the hamburger menu to give you the full main menu. At any point, you can click the voice icon to pull you back to the dashboard. And of course, we're all familiar with the Google search bar located centrally across the entire workspace. Using the headset will give you quick access to your audio settings. And the question mark will give you access to help files. Access your settings from the cog icon and access the rest of the Google workspace through the waffle. Now to the main body of the interface. The left-hand side panel will give you information about recent call history. And the right-hand side panel, call as allows you to select which number appears when you're outbound calling. The name or number box allows you to free type of contact details and immediately call, or you can use the keypad to type in your number. With the keypad hidden, voice will suggest callers to you for one-click calling, and you can reshow the keypad by clicking the button at the bottom. Recent call history will show the contact, the date and time of the call, and will give an incoming, outgoing, or missed call indicator. Call back your contact with one click on the phone icon, or click the avatar to find the archive and delete functionality. Access further functionality for your contact from the drop down menu. Make this caller a contact using the people icon. Archive the call, mark as spam, or block the number, or lastly, you can delete the call from your call history. Working on a mobile device, the landing page will show me the call history. I can access contacts from the people icon and listen to messages in the voicemail tab. Clicking the floating keypad icon gives me access to the keypad. Within the voicemails tab, I can listen to or read a transcript of any messages left and return a call. Further actions can be accessed from the menu allowing for archive, mark a spam or to access settings. Getting the settings right in voice. Access settings from the cog on the right hand side. Firstly, I can view my current setup. Here I am set up for use on my web browser and my mobile. I have also linked a number so that I can call forward to that number on days when I am out of the office or traveling. I can hide my caller ID. I can turn on and off my devices and add more linked numbers. I can add a total of six linked numbers. I can turn on Do Not Disturb while in a meeting or in focus time. I can also ask voice to use my working hours and my out of office setting to manage my voicemail. I can record my own voicemail messages. I can record up to 10 different voicemail messages to manage my different out of office scenarios. I can view billing history 
understand call rates, filter spam and manage my accessibility controls. The full range of settings can be accessed in the mobile app main menu. Let's take a look at Google Voice's intuitive in-call functionality. Make calls simply by typing a name or a number into the contact box and the call button will appear. Once the call starts, the responsive keypad shows the cancel call and mute buttons. And once the call is answered, the hold, transfer and record buttons will become visible in addition to the keypad button. Incoming calls appear on the right hand side of the screen with an accept or decline button visible. Once answered, the action buttons become usable. Let's cover some of the frequently asked questions. Does Google Voice show your real number? Since Google numbers aren't listed in phone books or connected to physical addresses, they're difficult to trace. When you call contacts from your Google Voice number, it can show up on their caller ID if you specify, but standard phone traces will not reveal your identity. Can you call back a Google Voice number? Yes, you absolutely can. How do I choose my Google Voice number? Google Voice gives you a phone number for calls, texts and voicemails. You can use this number to make both domestic and international calls from your web browser and mobile devices. Can I port an old number to Google Voice? The porting process does require filling in some forms and contacting your telephony provider. It's also dependent on your region, so get in touch if you want to talk about porting old numbers. Who do I speak to about Google Voice? If you're as excited about Google Voice as we are, get in touch with our team today to talk about the different packages available and the possibilities available for you on Google Voice.